here asked is, does IVF stimulation increase the follicles in the next spontaneous cycle, which means there's an increased the number of follicles that, that are available in the next treatment. So, for example, you start the stimulation and collect eggs. In the next cycle, does a woman spontaneously generate more eggs? What we do think is that stimulation can sometimes increase follicles in the next cycle. And what evidence shows that follicle recruitment changes after ovarian stimulation. Now, how does it happen that after repeated ovarian stimulation, how does it impact on follicular development? And the mechanisms are on looking at FSH and follicle recruitment. FSH is a key driver. FSH, remember, controls follicular development, primarily at a recruitment and selection level. Routinely, FSH during IVF may rescue smaller follicles that would undergo a tree's or dye, and increasing the dose will generate more follicles. In the early follicular phase, high FSH in the early follicular phase accelerates follicular genesis by advancing the pre ovulatory stage of follicles. This supports the hypothesis that residual FSH effects could enhance f follicular recruitment in the next cycle. So looking at the data, there is evidence that ovarian stimulation can enhance follicle recruitment in subsequent cycles via FSH-mediated rescue of smaller follicles. That's not always the case, but it's something to be noticed.